What's up, everybody? Welcome into the latest edition of the Leadership Library, hosted by author of the book, Tighten the Lug Nuts, Rocky Romanella. Rocky brings over 40 years of business experience as a high-level executive and CEO to the podcast to help you find your leadership aha moment. So if you're looking to become a better leader for your team or organization, grab a notebook and a pencil and get ready for the next edition of the Leadership Library. Welcome to the Leadership Library. I'm your host, Rocky Romanella. Today, we're going to go into more detail on this concept of micromanagement as part of the fire phenomenon inside our organization. You know, I hear my son, who's a baseball coach at Centenary College, talk to his players, and when they have a great at-bat or a great inning, he's, they come off the field, and with this giant smile, he says to me, you guys are on fire. That's a good fire. Now we're going to talk about the fire inside an organization that comes from micromanagement. And micromanagement, we've talked about in, in three or four different episodes. The mo one I think most recently is the one on toxic work environment and, and how micromanagement is part of that. Micromanagement is one of those difficult, difficult things, not for the individual being micromanaged. And frankly, if, if the leader was true, was true and really took a hard look and looked in the mirror, micromanagement is difficult for them as well because they're involved in everything. They're, they're into all of the details. I think the key to micromanagement is having that confidence to give your people the authority that goes with the responsibility. I think once you do it, once you take that leap of faith in yourself, I'm kind of taking it from a different approach because it's obvious what micromanagement does to you as the individual being micromanaged. We've all been micromanaged at one time or another, including myself. So we know what that feeling's like and we hate it. Think about that person who asks you to do a PowerPoint presentation. They give you vague information and then every time you come back, they're wordsmithing, they're editing, and you're looking at them and you're thinking to yourself, why don't you just tell me what it is that you want me to do and then I'll do it for you. Instead, they give you a vague amount of information. You go back and forth. They're editing. You're making changes. And at some point, you're saying to yourself, you should have just did it yourself because you're doing it yourself anyway. That's that micromanagement feeling that you and I get from being micromanaged. But I'll tell you, the micromanager is struggling as well because they're lacking the confidence to give you the authority that goes with the responsibility. That's so important. At some point as a leader... You have to be able to loosen the reins and let those individuals fly. Give them the authority. How does that happen? Well, you take the time to train them. You're a good communicator and you let them know exactly what it is that you're looking for them to do, not how you want them to do it. You got to give them a little latitude because that's when their creativity comes in. That's when they really buy in, right? Because you gave them the authority that goes with the responsibility. So you don't give them all the details to the point where they're boxed in and how to do it. What you want to do is you want to give them good direction. You want to answer any questions they may have before they start the project. And then you want to let them fly. And then you go and you become the cheerleader. Then you're that individual. It's like, great job. Keep up the good work. A lot the way, a lot like how Andrew works it, right? With his players. You know, you get up there, you get a hit. Even if it's a dribbler, you celebrate the success. You're on first. Don't worry about how you got there. If you got to get hit by a pitch, get hit by a pitch. Just get on first base so we can celebrate. It's the same with you as a manager. Allow your people the opportunity to have success, celebrate their successes, and then start to step back. So micromanagers are struggling as much as we struggle as, as being the person micromanaged. So let's fix this once and for all. Let's, let's don't, don't even let that fire start. Be Smokey the Bear. Don't start the fire. Until we talk again, have a great, great week. Be safe. And thank you for being part of the Leadership Library. Thank you for listening to this edition of the Leadership Library. If you want to get in on the action, head to tightenthelugnuts.com or shoot an email to rockyromanella at gmail.com and Rocky will answer your question on one of the next episodes. And until then, remember, the pace of the leader determines the pace of the pack. Thank you for listening.